projectile is launched horizontally with a speed of 4.5 meters per second from the top of a flight of stairs. Each step has a uniform width of 0.3 and a uniform height of 0.2. It is given that when it lands, it strikes the edge of one of the stairs. If that step that it struck is the nth step, then we are asked to find the value of n. Is it 3? Is it 5? Is it 10? That is what we have to find out here. Let's begin by analyzing the motion along the x-axis. We apply the second equation of motion along the x-axis. So we have x minus x0 equals v0t plus half at squared. Now the initial x displacement x0 is 0 and the final x displacement is 0.3 times n since we are considering that it has struck the nth step and that each step has a uniform width of 0.3 meters. So the range of the projectile along the x-axis will be 0.3 times n. The initial x velocity is v0 and that is given to us as 4.5 meters per second. And the acceleration along the x-axis is 0. So this term, half 80 squared, would be 0. And with that, we have 0.3n equals 4.5t. And therefore, t would be 0.3n over 4.5 which is our first equation. Now we analyze the y motion and we apply the second equation of motion along the y axis. So y minus y0 equals v0t plus half at squared. The initial y displacement y0 is 0. And the final y displacement is minus 0.2 times n since we are given that it strikes the nth step and each step has a uniform height of 0.2 meters. And the negative sign is because this displacement is in the negative y direction. The initial y velocity would be 0 since the launch is horizontal and the acceleration along the y-axis is minus g or minus 10. And now we have our second equation which is point 0.2n equals 5t squared. Now let's substitute t from equation 1 into equation 2. And with that, we obtain n as 9. So the projectile which is fired horizontally from the top of a flight of stairs will go on to strike the edge of the ninth step. And you can see that all we did is to analyze the motion along each axis independently. And throughout this chapter, this analysis of axes one at a time is what you have to get used to which, to a large extent, goes on to simplify projectile problems. Mm -hmm.